Cup Juvenile, and they're off. Tactical Cat comes out running, and a clumsy start again for Daring General. There goes, yes, it's true, down toward the inside. Answer Lively is going to run with him in the early going. Buck tried is there, three wide in the early stages. Not easy being green. It's fourth toward the rail. Time bandit, three wide in fifth position. Pat Day trying to settle down Cat Thief. He's running a bit greenly. About six lengths from the lead is Cat Thief as they make their way toward the backstretch. And a break of three back to European Red Sea. He's followed closely by Lemon Drop Hit. Already a dozen lengths from the lead. Then it's Alley's Alley, followed by the great tactical Pat. At the back of the pack, Darren General, who was off to that clumsy beginning. And next in line is Mountain Range, well behind the rest. Well behind the rest. As the groom is ready, 15 lengths off the lead. And the pace is strong. An opening half mile here in 46 and three of seconds as the field moves into the far turn. Yes, it's true. And Buck Cup challenging for that lead. Answer Lively looms a threat just in behind the lead. Now he's ranging up on the outside from third position. Time Bennett is now racing in fourth. There goes Kathy. And Kathy now is going within three lengths of the lead. Lemon Drop Pit is also beginning to make a run. Here comes Daring General, also moving up on the far side. Tactical Cat is fanned about six wide from the lead and farther back. But room is red and Answer Lively. Answer Lively has come away with the lead. Catholic is charging hard to challenge him for that lead now. Alley's Alley is putting in a late run toward the inside. Answer Lively trying to hang out for another 100 yards. Alley's Alley toward the inside. Catholic on the outside. Can Answer Lively hold on? Here's Alley's Alley. Can Answer Lively hold on? Photo finish. Answer Lively holding on, trying at the very end. Alley's Alley making a belated run. And Catholic winds up third. Final time in this Breeders' Cup Juvenile, 144 flat. All right, we got Jerry Bailey, the winning jockey, and Jerry, perfect ride on this horse. First time you've been on him, he really rated well for you. He did. That was, I guess, the key to it. Would he settle off another horse? He did fine until I called on him, and he drew off uh, probably an insurmountable lead through the middle of the stretch and just hung on. Was that the game plan going in? You saw this horse run at Keeneland. He was in front all the way and just got nipped by Cat Thief. Today, you did get him to rate. I really thought if I could get him behind something and have him have the momentum going through the stretch, it might benefit him. Did you hear that other horse coming at the end? I knew somebody was coming. I didn't know who it was, but uh, I was glad the wire got there quick. <laughs> Great. Now, Jerry, here's the finish right here. If you want to take a look at the finish, right here, you're, you're getting all over, Answer Lively, and the horse is coming up inside of you. That's the long shot, Alley's Alley. Yeah, you know, I really believe the inside was not the better place of the track. I thought maybe the three, four, five pass something in there, and that's why I picked the spot I was in. And I don't know if it was the inside that got the other horse beat or my horse just out gaming him, but I'm proud of my little guy. How good is this horse? Well, he's been proven. His record's really, really good, and, uh, of course, the win here doesn't hurt.